All right, friends, welcome to Fit Essentials Basics. I'm Shauna, I'll be taking you through class. Here's our disclaimer. You're about to engage in intense physical activity. Proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activities that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, recent chest pain, chronic health conditions, or that have any other condition that may limit your ability to participate should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. So let's go ahead. We're gonna come on up to our feet. If you have some water, bring it nearby. You're gonna stand, I'm gonna bring my carpet down here. It's kind of hard to see my feet here. We're gonna stand with the feet just underneath the hips, toes pointing straight ahead. We're gonna bring those hands in front of the chest. From here, stand tall up out of those hips. Breathe in, reaching your arms out as you breathe. And then we're gonna circle them down to the sides. Good job, twice more. Breathe, reach up to overhead, best as able and circle through. Good job, last time. Stretching up and relax down. Fantastic. Take, you're gonna mirror me. So take your right hand on your right hip, take your left foot, step it back behind you, and then you're gonna take your left arm and we're gonna make some nice circular patterns here, reaching out in front of the body, circling it back. And we're gonna go between three and five times, reaching and rotating. Good job. Let's go one more in this direction and then we're gonna go the other way, opening through. Good job. And then same arm, just reach it back to start and then up and over. Try to exaggerate how far can you reach. Just getting like a nice circular pattern up and across, moving through. Fantastic. One more time this way, up and through all the way down, fantastic. Walk that left foot back in, hands on the hips, and we're gonna go into our hip circles, circling the hips around. Good time to smile. Sometimes hip circles are kind of funny and awkward. You're like, what are we doing here? Just getting some movement, opening those hips, and reverse directions, taking it back the other way, circling through, especially as you kind of shift those hips forward kind of engage the belly and fire those glutes. All right, from here, hand on your left hip, set that left foot down and step your right foot back. And then we're gonna take that right arm, let's circle it forward to start, reaching forward, up and around, circling back. Good job. Twice more here, reach and open. Great, last time reach and all the way through. And then we're gonna reverse directions, taking it back, circling through there. That shoulder, it's that ball and shoulder joint. So it's like got a rounded portion to it that sits up in that shoulder. So we wanna encourage it to be able to still rotate, glide and slide through that shoulder, jerk, shoulder girdle and release, fantastic. Step that back foot back in and then we're gonna just be stepping the feet out and opening through those shoulders, open and close, open and close. So arm swings with a little side step here. There we go. Nice, rotate those palms forward as you swing the arms back. And go ahead and relax, very nice. From here, we're gonna walk the feet in so that they're just underneath the hips. Toes are pointing straight ahead. Go ahead and kind of bend down, bend into your hips, bend into your knees. And now we're gonna lift up nice and tall. Arms cross over those shoulders. We call these I dream a genie arms. With that bend in those knees again, now we're gonna bow forward. Pull that belly button in as you send those hips back. Looking down towards the floor and then pushing through your feet to stand tall. Very good, standing straight up, looking straight ahead. And we're gonna do that a few more times, bending forward, bowing down, long spine here. So try to attempt to stay tall in the chest and looking straight ahead at the top. Maybe one more, over, belly button pulled in, bracing that midline and then standing tall. All right, from here, feel free if you can, just kind of put your hands on the bum and we wanna to try to like just squeeze that glute. So squeezing, like you're trying to clench the glute. Try to wake that guy up. 
All right, from here, feel free if you want to balance. So I'm just going to take my right hand and balance against the door. So if you have a chair to hold on to a wall nearby, and then I'm going to place my right foot on the floor, lifting up out of that hip. And you can keep that hand on that left glute if you'd like. We're going to take the left foot, point it forward in front of your body, and then slide it straight back. Lift the toe up, slide the foot back, and then pointing back behind. Point it forward, slide it back. And when you get it to the back, that's where you really want to squeeze. Point and back. Try to squeeze there. The hand is there to kind of help wake up that tissue. It kind of helps to feel something there to squeeze against. And sometimes it's subtle, but that's okay. We're just waking it up and back. Good job. That's about five. Let's go ahead and relax there. Hands on the hips again for a little hip rock this time. So side to side. There you go. Very good. And then as you may imagine, now we're going to do those little leg extensions on the other side. So you can balance with the left arm as needed, lifting up out of that hip. And now it's going to be your right foot, point it forward and then lift the toe, glide it back behind. And then you can have that right hand on that right glute, point it forward. And the glute is just another word for your bum, your buttocks, about five times here, point the foot forward, glide it back in that back position. Try to really emphasize that squeeze point. Slide it back, squeeze. One more time, pointer forward and slide it back. Try to wake it all up and release. Fantastic. One more time, let's go back to those circles. So circling through two to three times each direction. Well done. And back the other way. Really good. All right, fantastic. Next, we're gonna get ready for some overhead work if you're able to do it. Some light dumbbells are great, or if you have a band too, you're gonna to wanna to bring your band nearby. Okay, but before we jump into that, we're gonna do a couple more stretches for the upper body. I'm just gonna come close. So you can either stay standing, or if you wanna take a seat for a moment, you can do that as well. We're gonna start with our tricep stretch. So go ahead and mirror me. You're gonna take your right hand to the right shoulder, Reach straight up best you can. And especially if you're standing, don't let yourself arch the back. Bend that elbow and then try to reach up behind, grab that elbow, and you're gonna pull that arm back. Very good. This is not easy, easier said than done. It's a nice deep breath. And if you feel confident here, if you wanna add a little bit of a side bend, you can bend away from the side, you're stretching. Breathe in, come back to center, kind of pull everything in and up. And then if you'd like, bending to the side. Good job. Breathing in and bending to the side. Good job. One more time. Up and over. Nice job. Let's go and relax those arms down. Shake them out. And then let's roll those shoulders up and back. So we're shrugging up and into the ears and then bringing them back and down. Up and back and down. Nice. And then we're going to stretch the tricep on the other side. So check in whether you're seated or standing, lifting up, pushing that arm straight up in the air, bend the elbow. And then especially as you reach that other arm around, really pay attention to that posture, staying as tall as you can. Ooh, I'm a little stiff on this side, pulling it back. And you can hold here. This is a great stretch. And then only if you feel good for it, bending away from the side you're stretching. It just adds a little bit more of that torso movement into it. Advances that stretch down into the side of the body. Good job. Whenever you come back to center, check back in with that posture, lifting up, pulling up, over up. And last one. Fantastic. Release that arm down. And then with some shoulder work, you want to also pay attention to the neck. So let's go ahead and just tilt the chin down towards the chest. Looking down and looking up a couple times here. Sitting tall, looking down, looking up. Good job. Last time, sitting tall, chin in, looking down, <clears throat> looking up. Good job. And then from there, we're going to circle the head around. It's going to bring the chin towards the chest, bring it across the body. 
and just move ever so gently here. Just being kind to your neck, tilting it around two to three times one way. Very good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna reverse directions, taking it around the other way, gently tilting the head back and around. We hold a lot of our stress and tension in the neck, in those upper shoulders, right? Especially if you, this time of year in colder parts of the US, I know I tend to kind of hold this posture a lot when I'm cold and those shoulders get shoved up into the ear. So you wanna think about shoulders down, trying to open all this up. All right. So we're gonna be making our way up to our feet. You can stay seated if you prefer. I'm gonna be showing an overhead press from a stagger stance. Anybody here that can't do that overhead press, you can always use the band, put it around your shoulders and push straight out in front of your body. All right, kind of changing it up there. So just pushing with that upper body. Otherwise, if you're good to come on up to your feet, go ahead and follow me. We're gonna do a little bit different variation here. And I'm gonna have you mirror me throughout. So I'm gonna be on the right side of my body, but have you on the left side. So take, if you're using a weight, take it up to your right, excuse me, your left shoulder. And then you're gonna take your left foot and just step it back, not really far, but just a little, we call it like a stagger stance, but feet are still hip width apart. If you can have both feet like flat on the floor. From here, take your opposite hand up onto the hip. Very good. And now whenever you're ready, we're just gonna push straight up to overhead. Good job. Elbow comes forward as you lower it down. Pushing high, elevate that shoulder now up and into the ear. Elbow comes forward, excuse me, good work. 20 more seconds, push and reach down and in. Elbow forward, I'm gonna show it from the side. Up, lift, try not to arch here. So ribs down, looks good. Elbow forward, pushing up, good. Elbow forward, one more and push and lower. Fantastic. Go ahead and bring that arm down, walk that leg in, same thing other side. So we'll step your right foot back, left hand on the left hip, right hand to the right shoulder. And then whenever you're ready, pushing straight up to overhead. Try to have both heels firmly planted. Elevate as you push high. Elbow comes forward, so it's trying to point straight ahead. Up, lift, forward with that elbow. Good, looks nice. Yeah, that's the way, down and push, push, push. Good job, down and in. Let's go one more, elevate, pushing high and down and relax, fantastic. Go ahead and place the weight down if you are using a weight. And then if you have those bands around, go ahead and grab the band. We're gonna do our pull aparts next. If there's no band, just mimic it as if you do. So we're gonna go straight arms out in front of the body. And then it's like pulling taffy. Extend the arms, pull the band in towards your chest. So straight arms, straight ahead, and then open through. Good. And now we're thinking shoulders down. So we wanna keep the shoulders down reach and open very good and our arms are about shoulder height the whole time reaching straight out and then even as you open they're right about shoulder height good Let's do one more close and open fantastic all right if you are standing with me let's go ahead and take a seat we're going to do a little bit of mobility work before we go back to it just adjust this a little bit all right, so go ahead and take a seat. Make sure your feet are planted firmly on the floor, starting with your left arm, hand behind the head. Take your left elbow over toward your right thigh. If you can't quite touch, no problem. Sit tall and then rotate like you're trying to look over that shoulder. We're gonna go between three and five, elbow to the opposite thigh, sitting tall, and then rotate, peer over your left shoulder. Couple more. Down, up, and pivot. You can coordinate the breathing. So I'm gonna inhale, breathe in as I close, elbow to the thigh, lifting tall, exhale as you rotate. Let's go one more there. Breathe in, lift, and exhale. Very good. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now it's on your right side, hand behind the head, and then elbow to the opposite thigh. 
getting some rotational work into that rib cage. Breathe in to close. Exhale to open. Down, lift. Almost there. Last time. And then we're gonna go back to that overhead press from that stagger stance. So let's go grab a little drink if it's close. Keep yourself hydrated, especially when it gets cold. It's easy to forget to drink our water. Just because the temperature is cold doesn't mean that we wanna start to get dehydrated. Okay, you're gonna go back to your left arm. I'm gonna mirror you on that right side. So you're gonna take your left foot, just step it back, not super far, just far enough that you can have both feet planted. And then whenever you're ready, right hand on the right hip, here we go, pushing high, elevate that shoulder. Good job, elbow down and forward, push through. <clears throat> nice. Now you know the rhythm, so nice and smooth here, about 20 more seconds, down and up. Good. Breathe in to lower and try as you push up, breathe through it, pushing high, fantastic. One to two more, down, up, down, push, and relax. Fantastic. Same thing, opposite leg. So now you're gonna go left hand on the left hip, step your right foot back, clamp those heels down, bring that right hand up to that right shoulder, and here we go, pushing high, elevate, and down and in. Nice. Up, lift, elbow forward. Good job. Stay connected to the breathing. Wonderful. Good job. And as you're pushing up, think about trying to bring that weight right over the center of your head. Good job. Don't let it get out wide. Maybe one more. Straight up like you're trying to reach over the center of your head. That's better, Shirley. Good job. Down and relax. Find your band if you have it. And if you're not with it, if you don't have a band, you're just going to mimic the positioning. It's going to give you a similar benefit just without the resistance. So just have a little bit of slack there. Arms straight straight and reaching in front whenever you're ready. Open and close. Open and close. Good. Keep those shoulders down out of the ears. Midline strong. Make sure we're not arching the back. Good. Close and open. Couple more. And relax. Beautiful, let's take it down to the chair. Last time on those mid-back rotations, and then we're gonna go one more time through on that overhead press. So place those feet about hip width apart. Start with your left arm, hand behind the head, sitting tall, breathe in to close, elbow towards the opposite thigh, sit tall, exhale as you go into that rotation, peering over that shoulder. Down, up, and rotate. And I'm using my right hand, be your right hand on your right inner thigh. You can kind of push to just encourage a little bit more twist. Good work. Down, up, turning through. Last one. When you're ready, same thing, opposite side, right hand back. And here we go, opposite. Close it down. So I'll help you kind of see over that shoulder when you're trying to check your blind spots in the car. Sometimes you don't realize that you're stiff when you're trying to rotate until you're like, man, I can't see as well out of that side. Down, up, pivot. Pausing as you're peering over that shoulder. Let's go one more there. Down, lifting up out of the hips opening through those shoulders, peering over. Fantastic. All right, last drink, not last drink of water, but drink of water before we go back to that last set. Okay, you're gonna have your weight in the left arm. Once it's in the left arm, we're gonna step the left foot back, right hand on the right hip. 
And three, two, one, whenever you're ready, pushing straight up, down and through. Good. Smooth breathing here. Remember we're focused on trying to bring that weight straight over the top of your head. People tend to go out to the side. I want it straight up and down, forward and up. Nice. There you go. Keep those shoulders moving. Keep those shoulders happy and strong and relax. Good job. Same thing, other side, bringing it down, switching the leg. So now your right foot steps back, hand on the right shoulder, left hand on the left hip, whenever you're ready, straight up. Trying to reach to overhead. Good. Great position on that one, Shirley. That's the way. Nice. Yep. There we go. Halfway. Staying patient. Fantastic. Up, reach, down. Last one. Push, push, push and relax good job let's set that down final time on the pull aparts all right standing tall reaching that arm out in front of the bodies <laughs> i said singular arm and plural bodies reach the arms out in front of the body and here we go pull them apart close and open close and open nice we went from pushing those shoulders up towards the ears, and now from here on out, we're keeping those shoulders down out of the ears. So try to retrain those shoulder blades to stay down. The overhead press is our exception. Last time, open that chest and release. Woo! All right, well done. Let's get a little bit of a stretch before we go into that next piece. We're gonna continue with some upper body work. So take your right hand, right hand to your left shoulder pull that elbow down and in and then step your right foot back and then hugging that arm in you're going to shift that hip forward and rotate towards that front leg good job hand good to see you and rotate yep back and over we're just getting ready for our second circuit so good timing glad to, glad you can make it and one more time Beautiful. Release those arms. Same thing, opposite side. So now step your left foot back, left hand to your right shoulder, hug that arm down and in. And now we're pushing that back hip forward, just opening that hip as you turn your body back and rotate. Just a subtle stretch here. You'll typically feel it a little bit in that outer shoulder, a little bit into the hips. Just moving and gliding, getting some good rotation back and open wonderful all right friends so we're going to go into a bent over row next with some breathing pieces in between so go ahead and find something that you can support your hand on a, a chair a tabletop what have you you're going to start with the weight in the right arm so place your left left hand nice and wide down on your surface and then take your weight in your right arm little bend in those knees pulling your belly button in you're going to reach forward and then you're going to pull that elbow high up and in yep reaching down and row once you know the movement turn your gaze so that you're looking down towards your left hand reach forward in the right row that elbow high to the ceiling reach pull it straight up and in good job down and up 10 more seconds here reach forward Pulling it high, nice, down, up, maybe one more. Reach through, pausing in the top. Good job, go ahead and come on up to standing. And in between arms, we're gonna get a little bit of some blood flow here. So we're gonna march, arms to the side and knees up, stepping through, breathe. Yep, and nice and controlled, kind of lifting up to that midline. It's almost a pause march here where you're nice and intentional. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Trying to keep those hips as level as you can. Whoops, a little off balance here. Good, 10 more seconds, marching through. Nice high knee position as you feel confident. And two, one, 
and relax. Good job. We're going to be doing the same thing on the opposite arm. So you're going to go left arm, place the feet about hip width apart, take your right hand, bend into your body, support that right hand down, reach the left arm forward. And then whenever you're ready, pull that elbow nice and high, reach the left arm, elbow up and in, reach and row. Good, reach. Shoulder down out of the ears, belly button pulled in. Good, down and up. Couple more. Reach and row, last one. Good job, go ahead and set that weight down. Come back to center, we're gonna do our sway next. So working on that balance once again. Arms come out to the side, can reach them a little bit up to the top, lifting up and then feet about hip width apart. And we're gonna just shift your weight Woo, onto one foot best you can. Push that big toe down and pull those shoulders back. Nice. It's not about 30 to 45 seconds here, just shifting side to side, or should we say swaying side to side? It is what it's called. And be really gentle with yourself here because this is a you know, depending upon your current balance ability, it can be really tough. So be kind to yourself, speak kindly, switch. There you go, 10 more seconds. Belly button pulled up and in. My arms are getting tired last time. Take it over and let's release those arms down. Great job, shake them out. Whoo. Let's go back to those circles, reaching up in front of the body, circle those arms around. And smile as you lower those arms down. Good. Feel silly, be silly. Don't take it all too seriously. All right, folks. We're gonna go back to that bent over row with the weight in the right arm. We'll start in about 15 seconds. So place those feet about hip width apart. Left hand, nice wide handprint down on your surface. Pull that belly button in to support the low back. Right arm, reach down. And then whenever you're ready, pulling that elbow up and in, reaching forward, rowing through. Reach and row. Yep, down and up. Once you know the movement, turn your gaze so that you're looking towards your left hand. Reach and rows. One of those simple exercises that gives us a lot of benefit, straight down, straight up, specifically looking to help us with our posture. We don't wanna have those rounded shoulders. We wanna have those shoulders back and go ahead and rest. Place your weight down. Coming back to the top, we're gonna go back to our march. Take a nice deep breath here. Get yourself grounded for a second. Arms up to the side. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna march one knee, try to punch across the body with the opposite arm. Punch and reach, good. Arm right about shoulder height. So now we get the right side of the brain, talking to the left side of the brain. As you reach across the body, it's good exercise for the mind as well as the body. Punch and reach, good. Punch, nice. Couple more. When you bring that arm back, try to exaggerate that chest opening. So squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Reach, pull them in, reaching across, pull them in and relax. Good job. Let's get a little drink in between arms. And then we're gonna be back to that row in the left arm. Good job, keeping your hydration going. 15 seconds till we start. So you're gonna place the feet about hip width apart, little bend in those knees, pull that belly button in, sending those hips back and support your right hand down on your platform. Left hand has your weight, reaching down towards the floor, elbow pulls straight up towards the ceiling, reaching forward, up and in. Good, we're gonna go 30 seconds here. Reach and row, down and up. Breathe in as you reach. Exhale as you go into that row. Reach, pull through. Down. Almost there. 
There you go. Two, one, and relax. Very nice. Set that weight down. Coming back up to your feet. We're going back into the round two of the sway. So arms out to the side, looking up to that midline. And whenever you're ready, push that big toe down to the floor, the side you're shifting towards. That's going to help stabilize that downside over and back. Good job. Staying really tall here. You need to lift up out of those hips. Good job. 30 seconds to go over and back. Good job. Lifting out of those hips, shifting over, pull through. Wonderful. There you go. 10 more seconds. That's the way, over and bringing it back to one and relax. Woo. Let's go ahead and kind of relax those hips side to side. That's the end of round two. We're gonna do that one more time if you feel up for it. So we're gonna go 20 seconds until we're back on that right arm row, building that shoulder blade strength, building that mid back strength. All right, if you're with me here, feet about hip width apart. Place that left hand down, spreading your hand as wide as you can. Spread those fingers out. Weight in the right hand, reaching down towards the floor and then straight up, trying to pull that elbow straight up towards the ceiling. So I like to play imagination and pretend I've got a string from the ceiling coming straight down pull to the back of that elbow and it pulls that elbow up, straight up, down, rowing through. Good job. Keep pulling the belly button in. Good brace of the midline. Breathe. Let's go one more. Down and up and relax. Fantastic. Coming back up to your feet. Last time through of the march. A nice deep breath. Set those shoulders back. Bring those hands right about shoulder height. And we're going to go march and punch across the body over and back. Nice, over and back. There you go, punch it like you mean it. Exhale as you punch. Good, punch away any negative thoughts you have. If you're being critical of yourself, say be kind. There you go. Wonderful, about 15 seconds to go. As you lift that knee, try to lift the foot up as well. Doing great. And relax. Whew, shake out those arms. We just have one more arm and one more time on the sway. All right, here we go. Placing those feet about hip width apart. Now you're going to support your right hand onto your surface. Send those hips back. Support that hand down. Left arm reaching towards the floor. Elbow straight up towards that ceiling. Down and up, breathe into reach, exhale as you row, in, very good, pulling that belly button in, support the low back, you definitely don't want to be arching that low back, so keeping it flat, down and up, let's go two more, forward, hold, down, and relax. Fantastic. All we have on this set is the sway. Woo! Arms out to the side, lifting up through that midline. And two, one, here we go. Sway to one foot. And if you don't quite feel ready to pick that other foot off the ground, you can even just kind of keep that toe down and just shift. We're practicing dispersing our weight from side to side. Essentially some fall prevention here, working on that balance. And you can start this at any time in your life, right? You can always work your balance. Doesn't matter how young or old you are. There's always benefits. The more we practice, the better we get. So if you haven't been practicing, you know, don't expect miracles. You gotta have practice to get better. <laughs> Back, good job. Go twice more each side if you're up with it. And over. Wonderful. Woo! Sway. 
and release. All right, hello shoulders. Shake those out. Let's grab a drink and we're gonna go behind the back stretch next. So if you can't quite interlace the fingers, you can use your band, but let's get a drink of water first. All righty. So like I said, if you can't interlace the fingers, you hold the band behind you and lifting up there with the holding on. Otherwise, if you can't get those fingers together, that's fantastic. Extend those elbows out. And we don't wanna sway back here. So a little bend in those knees, lifting those arms up. If you feel comfortable for a forward bow, I want you to walk your feet about outside those hips and then bend into your knees. You can either stay here, just lifting tall or send those hips back once again, looking down towards the floor, pulling those arms towards the ceiling. Breathe. And then when you're ready, come on up to the top, release those arms and swing it out. Woo, I got a little lightheaded. Looking straight ahead. If you need to take a seat, go for it. And actually I'm gonna invite everyone to take a seat because we're gonna roll up our ankles a little bit here. If you wanna do more balance, you can stand and do this, but let's take a little bit of a break otherwise. All right, so on one foot, you can hold that knee in or just lift the foot up. We're gonna roll that ankle around. Let's go about 10 times. You don't have to hold it this high. I just wanna make sure it's in the camera. Up and around, sitting tall. Keep that ankle moving. In the next piece, we're gonna be doing some lateral step overs, like an imaginary hurdle. If you don't feel stable to step side to side, then just continue to march in place like we did a little bit on the last time. Uh, switch directions if you haven't, roll it the other way. And if you've gone both directions, let's place that one down. Same thing, other side, picking it up and rolling it around. It's normal to have some clicks and cracks and such. I feel it too. You got a whole bunch of small bones in there. So we keep them rolling around each other and the reverse directions, pivot it the other way. Very good. All right, go ahead and place that foot down and then come on up. We're gonna stretch out the calves a little bit next. So you can even use this, the foot of the, the leg of your chair, put your heel down, place your toe up against like the side of the chair, side of the wall, and then you're gonna lean into it. We're looking to get a stretch in the lower part of your leg, back of the calf here. We just got a short little circuit to finish. We're gonna be working for about six minutes. We're gonna practice a little bit of squatting. We're gonna do an elevated burpee. And then, like I said, those lateral step overs. Let's go ahead and switch feet, heel down, toe up, and sinking into it. But first, we're going to get ready for some squatting. So you're always welcome to squat to a chair or a bench, whatever you feel most comfortable with, and go ahead and relax down. All right, if you can grab your foot, we're gonna to look to grab that foot for the quad stretch. Please feel free to balance on something. If you're like, lady, I can't get my foot, just stand in a lunge and rotate like we did earlier in the hour, opening the hip. But if you can grab that foot, that's preferred. You wanna get it, try to get this front of the quad. There you go. Let's go 15 seconds here. Woo. <laughs> and you get a cramp. Okay, you had that look on your face. I thought maybe your hamstring or something was cramping. Go ahead and release. Same thing, other side. Again, either stepping back, opening that hip flexor here, kind of rotating, or if you can grab the opposite foot. Remember, I'm supposed to make it look easy. That's why I instruct the classes. So try not to compare yourself, at least not from a judgment standpoint. Try to lengthen those quads out and go ahead and release. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna bring my carpet square forward just so we can see a little bit better on the floor. Okay, so for the squats, again, you're welcome if you wanna like squat to a bench. I've got my little step stool here because my box is pretty high, but I've got this bench and I've got a little yoga block on it. 
So you could also kind of make shift. If your chair is too high, you could like put books on like a step stool and you can lower down, trying to squat to that stool and then standing from there or to your chair. So you're gonna set the feet about hip width apart, slight toe out to help open those hips. As you send your hips back, reach your arms out and you can either go to the chair or without, just depending upon your confidence and then push through your feet preferably keeping those toes down, heels down, and stand. Very good. So what we're gonna be doing, 30 seconds of the squat, then we're gonna go into 30 seconds of the burpee. You're gonna use your elevated surface, stepping back, stepping up, and reaching up to overhead. Down, back, up to overhead, and then you can either march, or if you feel stable for that lateral step, up and over, doesn't have to be a really high knee position, just as far as you're comfortable, making sure you're stable there, all right? And then we're gonna take a 30 second rest and we're gonna do that three times through, squatting, burpees, and those lateral steps. Let me know if there's any questions, otherwise we're gonna start with those squats in about 15 seconds. If you're not quite ready, just join us when you are. All right. Place those feet just outside the hips and two, one, here we go. Reaching out, sending those hips back and standing tall. Good job. Good control, push the knees wide, keeping those heels planted and up. Fantastic. Back, back, back and standing. Good job. Control down, try not to drop quickly or like we'll say plop onto that seat. Maybe one more, back, back, back and up and rotate. Very good, burpees next. Nice deep breath. And whenever you're ready, placing the hands underneath the shoulders, step the feet back so it's like you're at the top of the push up. Stepping up, squeeze your backside to pull your chest tall and reach to overhead, down. Stepping back, stepping up, reaching high. Good job. Find your rhythm here. Back and up. Look straight ahead. Try to find something that you're focused on as you stand. Back, step, up. Fantastic. One to two more. Be intentional with your breathing. Straight up. Fantastic. All right, once you finish your burpees, coming back to standing tall, arms out to the side if you're doing those step overs and whenever you're ready, stepping to the side, whoops, really working that balance. Up and over, up and across, good. And again, if you don't feel stable for that lateral step, march in place. It is a little bit more challenging on the legs and knees to step sideways, so make sure you're ready for it. 10 more seconds. Up and across, nice. It's a good opening for those hips. And two, one, and we're gonna take a 30 second break. There you go. So we're gonna do that twice through, well that's once, we're gonna do it two more times. All right, if you wanna hold weights on your squatting, you can, otherwise stick to what we did the first time. And if I'm gonna hold a weight, I like to hold it up at my chest. So I'm gonna hold one weight this time, just on each side, right underneath my chin. Set those feet about hip width apart, slight toe out, and whenever you're ready, sinking back, heels stay planted, focus and stand. Yep, if you're not holding a weight, just like we did last time, reach your arms out in front of your body as you lower, good. And then as you stand, you can relax those arms down, reaching out to lower, Standing tall, good job. You got it, Ann. Here we go, reaching down, straight up, good. One, two more, back, 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 up, good. Last time, and straight up, good job. We'll take 10 seconds of transition, headed into those burpees next. If you're someone that wants to come all the way down to the floor, you can have this be your bottom position for the burpees. Otherwise, here we go from that elevated position. Step it back, step it up, and reach to overhead. Good. 
As you reach overhead, say, happy to be alive. <laughs> step back, step up, and reaching high. Squeeze that bum as you reach to overhead. Fantastic, let's get two more in, woo. If you don't wanna say I'm happy to be alive, let me just give out a little cheer. No one else can hear you, woo. At least maybe they can, not on my end anyway. Stepping it up, last one, and 10 seconds. Good job, second round, either that step over or that march, standing nice and tall, two, one, and here we go, side step or marching in place. Up and over. Good job. Breathe. There you go. Knees up. Good focus. Over and back. And here's our final rest break. We'll take another 30 seconds. And then we'll go through our final round of this. Good job. It'll be your last time through on those squats. You can go weighted or unweighted. All right. So walk those feet about hip width apart. Eyes looking straight ahead. And two, one, here we go. Just 90 seconds left of work controlling down to your chair or unassisted back and up good back and up that's the way good and yep keep that chest up try not to look down towards the floor so look straight ahead good Shirley down stand let's see if we can get one more there in control to the chair and then drive your feet into the floor to come on up Beautiful. If you are holding weights, please set those down. Final time through on those burpees. All right, two, one, here we go. Place the hands on the shoulders. Try to notice which foot steps back first and see if you can alternate. Different leg back, different leg up and pushing through. Good job. Pushing through meaning push up to overhead with your hands, reaching straight up. Down, back, up, and reach. Good job. Midline strong, squeeze those glutes as you reach. Good job, last one. Back, and up, and stand. Beautiful. 10 seconds till we go into those step overs. And again, marching as that replacement. Two, one, here we go. Side step or march. Nice, up and over, opening those hips. Wonderful. Over and back. There you go. Push that big toe down on the side that's supporting you. Get that good support. Good job, let's go one more time, over, and one more time back. And two, one, and all done. Nice job. All right, let's just do a couple stretches and then we'll be all done for the day. Okay, let's go ahead, stay standing as able. We're gonna open up the shoulders. So if you have a wall nearby, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna put it right about shoulder height and stand right next to the wall. From here, I'm gonna just walk my fingers straight up the wall. So I'm walking those fingers up to overhead. And then from here with my hand flat on the wall, I'm gonna inch my body close to the wall. So I'm just gonna stand as close as I can as I reach that arm up. So I'm just kind of close to the wall. And then you can walk the fingers back behind you if you wanna get a little bit more stretch into it, but otherwise, just open that shoulder. Breathing here. And then when you're ready, walk your feet away from the wall and then walk those fingers back down to the shoulder. There 
There you go. Just gradually walking them back down. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Turn into the other side. Again, starting right about shoulder height, about a foot or so away from the wall. And start first, finger crawl up the wall. Once you get that arm extended best you can, now you can inch yourself just a little bit closer to the wall, trying to stand as close as you can. If you're getting a stretch there, just stay there, or you can just ever so slightly walk the fingers behind you and breathe. Very good. One more breath here, and then walk the fingers back to 12 o'clock, walk your feet away from the wall, and slowly walk those fingers down the wall. Very good. From here, let's take a seat. So come to your chair, come to my box. Sitting nice and tall with both feet flat on the ground. You're gonna push through your left foot and pull your right knee towards your chest, pulling it up and in and holding high here. Sit tall, hug it in. Hey, Laura, good to see ya. <laughs> and then just bring it across the body. If you can get your left foot excuse me, I think you're on your right. If you can get your right foot to your across, like you're crossing your legs, and now you can use your downside leg to help just pull it in and across, continue to hug it in. And breathing here. We're looking to open the outer part of the hip here. Nice deep breaths. And when you're ready, go ahead and release that leg down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it should be your left leg. I'm on my right, so we kind of mirror each other. Up and in. As able, take that leg across the opposite thigh, hook it around, and then we're hugging that leg in again, looking to open that outer hip here, wherever you can feel it. Breathe. Very good, and release. Fantastic. So you can repeat that stretch if that was a pretty good stretch for you. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the hip, I'm going to take you into figure four next. So you're going to go back to your first leg. See if you can work that ankle up onto the opposite leg. If you can get that ankle up above the knee on the opposite side, that's ideal, but just do the best you can. And then sitting tall, and you, oftentimes you'll feel it just like that. If you're fairly flexible in your hips, if you bow forward a little bit, then you'll really feel it. And we're gonna hold about 20 seconds here. Nice work. And just note that posture, still lifting up out of the hips. 10 more seconds. It's If it's intense, ease out of it a little bit. Two, one, and go ahead and release. Pull that leg up bringing it down and last on time on the opposite side, up and in. Trying to get that ankle to the opposite leg. If you can get it above the knee, up onto the thigh, that's fantastic. And then let that knee drop down. Sitting tall and breathe. Great work, another 10 seconds here. Two, one, and release that leg. Gradually making your way out of it. And we're gonna see about stretching the hamstrings from a seated position. So place your right foot down, take your left foot, kind of extend it straight out, and then sit tall out of your hips. And you can even go just one arm, just kind of reaching down towards your ankle on that side. And you might feel it in your hamstring. My low back must be a little bit more stiff because I feel it in my back instead, but that's okay. You'll feel it wherever your body most needs to stretch in this position. So again, I got my leg out stretched, reaching down for the ankle on that side. Make sure that your leg that's out stretched, you don't want it to be locked out. So I don't want to hyperextend that knee. Just give a little bit of bend in the knee. And then when you're ready, come back up to seated, pull that foot in, same thing, other side, outstretched leg, set that heel down sit tall and just gradually reaching down towards that ankle, pull that chin in, looking down towards the floor and breathe on the side. Again, you might feel it in the hamstring or maybe that low back.
and go ahead and release there. Well done. All right, with both feet flat, we're just gonna very gently windshield wiper the knees side to side, drop the knees to one side and pull the knees across to the other. One side and across, very good. All right, folks, feel free to swing out those shoulders. You can do some of those neck movements that we did as part of our warm up. Keep yourselves nice and loose. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and celebrate some joy in your life. Hope to see you next time.